the forbidden mudra's whisper of ancient wisdom and untapped potential. Dare you listen, Dr. Amina Shai, or ever noticed how a simple shift in your posture can instantly change how you feel? Or how a deep breath can calm a racing heart? Our bodies are incredible conduits of energy, and ancient wisdom traditions have long understood the power of subtle gestures to influence this flow. Today we're going to look into the fascinating world of mudras, hand gestures that have been used for centuries in practices like yoga and meditation, to channel energy, enhance well-being, and even unlock spiritual potential. But within this vast tapestry of mudras, there exist a handful that are often shrouded in mystery, whispered about with reverence and caution. They are the forbidden mudras, potent tools that, if wielded without proper understanding, can lead to unforeseen consequences. In this exploration, we will shed light on five such mudras, their potential benefits, and the crucial precautions one must take when venturing into their domain. With great power comes great responsibility, and it's essential to approach these practices with respect and a discerning mind. The history of mudras is as rich and diverse as the cultures from which they emerged. In ancient India, yogis and sages recognized the intricate connection between the physical body and the subtle energies that animate it. They discovered that by shaping their hands in specific configurations, they could influence the flow of prana, or life force, within their being. These hand gestures, known as mudras, became an integral part of spiritual practices, enabling practitioners to harmonize their energies, enhance their meditation, and even awaken dormant potentials within themselves. Mudras are more than just symbolic gestures, they are a bridge between the physical and the ethereal. Each mudra is associated with specific energy channels and nadis, subtle pathways, in the body. By forming a particular mudra, you create a circuit that directs the flow of prana, stimulating certain areas and calming others. This in turn can affect your physical health, emotional state, and even your spiritual awareness. For instance, some mudras are said to boost immunity, improve concentration, or induce a sense of inner peace. The power of mudras lies in their ability to tap into the mind-body connection. Our hands are not just tools for manipulating the external world. They are also powerful instruments for influencing our internal landscape. The nerve endings in our hands are directly linked to various parts of the brain and body. By forming specific mudras, we send signals to the brain, triggering physiological and psychological responses. It's like having a remote control for your own well-being right at your fingertips. But just as a remote control can change channels or adjust the volume, mudras can also have profound effects on your energy system. While most mudras are safe and beneficial, there are a few that are considered more potent, even potentially dangerous if practiced without proper guidance. These are the forbidden mudras, practices that have been traditionally reserved for advanced practitioners or those under the direct supervision of a qualified teacher. We will unveil five of these forbidden mudras, exploring their symbolism, potential benefits, and the crucial cautions you must heed when approaching them. Knowledge is power, but wisdom lies in knowing when and how to apply that knowledge. So let's start on this journey of discovery with an open mind and a discerning heart. In the vast ocean of mudras, vibes stand out for their potency and the air of mystique that surrounds them. These are not your everyday hand gestures for relaxation or focus. These are practices steeped in tradition, often kept secret or reserved for those who have attained a certain level of spiritual maturity. They are said to tap into deeper currents of energy, offering profound benefits but also carrying potential risks. Today, we will lift the veil on these enigmatic practices exploring their symbolism and the cautionary tales associated with them. The first of these forbidden mudras is known as Abhaya Hridaya Mudra. The second is Kachari Mudra. The third is Shanmukhi Mudra. The fourth is Yoni Mudra. And finally, the fifth is Kali Mudra. Each of these mudras carries a unique energetic signature and their effects can be both transformational and, if mishandled, disruptive. We will examine each one in detail, understanding their potential and the critical safeguards necessary for their safe practice. The Abhaya Hridaya Mudra is a gesture that evokes both fearlessness and compassion. Its hand position, 
with the right hand raised in a gesture of protection and the left hand resting on the lap, symbolizes the dispelling of fear and the cultivation of inner peace. In ancient texts, this mudra is associated with courage, inner strength, and the ability to overcome obstacles. Practitioners who have ventured into this practice report experiences of heightened confidence, emotional stability, and a sense of protection from negative influences. But the Abhaya Hridaya Mudra is not to be taken lightly. It is said to activate dormant energies within the heart chakra, which, if not properly managed, can lead to emotional turbulence or an overabundance of confidence. Traditional teachings advise against practicing this mudra without proper guidance, as it can potentially amplify existing emotional imbalances. Those who have attempted this mudra without adequate preparation have reported feeling overwhelmed by their emotions or experiencing a surge of ego. If you are drawn to the Abhaya Hridaya Mudra and its potential benefits, it is crucial to seek guidance from a qualified teacher. A knowledgeable instructor can assess your emotional readiness, provide personalized instruction, and help you navigate any emotional challenges that may arise during your practice. True fearlessness comes from a place of inner balance and self-awareness. The Kachari Mudra is an advanced yogic practice that involves curling the tongue back and upwards, touching the soft palate at the back of the throat. This gesture is often shrouded in secrecy and is associated with the awakening of kundalini energy, the dormant spiritual power believed to reside at the base of the spine. Ancient texts describe Kachari Mudra as a key to unlocking higher states of consciousness, spiritual bliss, and even physical immortality. Practitioners who have mastered this mudra report experiencing deep meditative states, heightened sensory awareness, and a profound sense of connection to the divine. But Kachari Mudra is not to be attempted without proper guidance and preparation. It requires gradual and careful practice to avoid physical discomfort or injury. Forcing the tongue into position can strain the muscles and nerves, leading to pain or even damage. The sudden awakening of Kundalini energy can be overwhelming if one is not physically and mentally prepared. It is said to trigger intense emotional and physical experiences that can be challenging to navigate without the support of a qualified teacher. If you are interested in exploring Kachari Mudra, it is crucial to seek instruction from an experienced yogi or teacher who can guide you through the process safely and effectively. They can provide preparatory practices to increase tongue flexibility and offer guidance on managing the energetic effects of this potent mudra. Remember, the spiritual path is a gradual unfolding and patience and discipline are key to unlocking its deeper mysteries. The Shanmukhi Mudra, also known as the six face seal, involves closing the eyes, ears, nose, and mouth with the fingers and thumbs, creating a sense of sensory withdrawal and inner focus. This mudra is associated with Lord Murugan, the Hindu god of war and victory, and is said to enhance concentration, mental clarity, and spiritual awareness. Practitioners who have incorporated Shanmukhi Mudra into their meditation practice report experiencing deeper levels of tranquility, improved focus, and a sense of detachment from external distractions. Shanmukhi Mudra should be practiced with caution, particularly for individuals with anxiety or claustrophobia. The act of closing off the senses can be unsettling for some, and it is important to listen to your body and mind during the practice. If you experience any discomfort, or anxiety, it is best to gently release the mudra and return to normal breathing. Additionally, prolonged practice of Shanmukhi Mudra without proper guidance can lead to a sense of disconnection from the external world or an unhealthy detachment from emotions. If you are interested in exploring Shanmukhi Mudra, start with short durations and gradually increase the time as you become more comfortable. It is also advisable to learn this mudra from a qualified teacher who can provide guidance on its safe and effective practice. The goal of meditation is to cultivate inner peace and awareness, not to suppress or deny your experiences. The yoni mudra, also referred to as the womb gesture, involves placing the thumbs on the ears, the index fingers on the eyes, the middle fingers on the nostrils, and the ring and little fingers on the lips. This mudra is associated with the divine feminine and is said to promote inner peace, deep relaxation, and spiritual connection. 
Practitioners who incorporate Yoni Mudra into their meditation practice report experiencing a sense of calmness, heightened intuition, and a profound sense of inner stillness. Yoni Mudra should be approached with mindfulness and respect. Closing off the senses can create a sense of isolation or disorientation, particularly for those who are new to meditation. It is essential to practice this mudra in a safe and comfortable environment where you feel supported and grounded. Additionally, prolonged practice of yoni mudra without proper instruction can lead to a withdrawal from the external world or an unhealthy detachment from daily life. If you are interested in exploring yoni mudra, start with short durations and gradually increase the time as you become more comfortable. It is also beneficial to learn this mudra from a qualified teacher who can provide guidance on its safe and effective practice. The goal of meditation is to integrate your inner and outer worlds, not to create a separation between them. The Kali Mudra, named after the Hindu goddess Kali, involves forming fists with both hands, with the thumbs tucked inside and the index fingers pointing outwards. This mudra is associated with transformation, power, and the dissolution of ego. It is said to help release negative emotions, overcome fear, and cultivate inner strength. Practitioners who have incorporated Kali Mudra into their practice report experiencing a sense of empowerment, increased courage, and a deeper connection to their inner power. Kali Mudra should be practiced with awareness and discernment. It can evoke intense emotions and bring buried feelings to the surface. If you are struggling with unresolved trauma or emotional instability, it is best to approach this mudra with caution and under the guidance of a qualified teacher. Additionally, prolonged practice of Kali Mudra without proper grounding can lead to an overemphasis on power or an unhealthy identification with anger or aggression. If you are interested in exploring Kali Mudra, start with short durations and gradually increase the time as you become more comfortable processing intense emotions. It is also essential to learn this mudra from a qualified teacher who can provide guidance on its safe and effective practice. But true power comes from a place of inner balance and self-awareness, not from a place of domination or control. As we've explored these five forbidden mudras, it's become clear that they are not mere hand gestures to be casually adopted. They are potent tools that require respect, understanding, and proper guidance. While the allure of their potential benefits is undeniable, it's crucial to remember that venturing into these practices without adequate preparation can lead to unforeseen consequences. This is where the role of a qualified teacher becomes paramount. A knowledgeable instructor can provide invaluable support on your journey of self-discovery. They can assess your individual needs, tailor the practice to your specific constitution, and guide you through any challenges that may arise. A teacher acts as a bridge between the ancient wisdom of these practices and your modern day life. They can help you understand the subtle nuances of each mudra, ensuring that you are practicing safely and effectively. They can also offer personalized guidance on how to integrate these practices into your daily routine, maximizing their benefits and minimizing any potential risks. Moreover, a teacher can provide a safe and supportive space for you to explore the depths of your being. They can help you navigate any emotional or energetic blockages that may surface during your practice and offer techniques for grounding and integration. With their guidance, you can approach these powerful practices with confidence and clarity, ensuring that your journey is one of growth and transformation, not confusion or harm. Remember, the path of self-discovery is not a solitary one. It's a journey best undertaken with the support of those who have walked the path before you. By seeking guidance from a qualified teacher, you honor the tradition of these ancient practices and ensure that your exploration is both safe and fruitful. We've journeyed through the realm of the forbidden, exploring five mudras that hold both immense power and potential risks. From the Abhaya Hridaya Mudra's cultivation of fearlessness to the Kali Mudra's dissolution of ego, each of these practices offers a unique pathway to self-discovery and transformation. But it's important to remember that these mudras are not quick fixes or shortcuts to enlightenment. They are tools that require dedication, discipline, and most importantly, respect. Approaching them with a beginner's mind, seeking guidance from a qualified teacher, and honoring the wisdom of the traditions from which they emerged 
are essential for a safe and meaningful experience. While we conclude this exploration, we invite you to reflect on your own journey of self-discovery. Are there areas in your life where you could benefit from greater courage, inner peace, or spiritual connection? If so, consider exploring the world of mudras with an open mind and a discerning heart. But remember, always proceed with caution, seek guidance when needed, and honor the power and potential of these ancient practices. If you found this exploration of forbidden mudras insightful and valuable, please consider liking this video, sharing it with others who might benefit, and subscribing to our channel for more content on mindfulness, spirituality, and self-discovery. Thank you for joining us on this journey.